Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Cordant. We are back for some more Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. We are right now in the gullet, but we are just about to go down into the old city. I wanted to check something here because I remember this while I wasn't recording. And it's the, the scepter now. This is one-handed, while the rod is two-handed. Which is something that I actually hadn't really thought about before. But this means, or it should mean, that I could have been using it there with a small shield all this time. So let me see, my accuracy is 72. It's actually quite high, honestly. And if I do this... Oh, the... Ah, okay, because it's not... Okay, I see. Because I lose the single, the single weapon style. Ah, okay, got it, got it. Kind of a shame, honestly, but what about you? Can I do something stupid like this? Oh my god, I can. <laughs> yeah, but I, still, the, the accuracy goes down. Okay. Okay, good to know. <clears throat> so let's go and explore the old city because we are looking for... And once again, bear with me because I need to find the goddamn quest. All aboard, uh, find Botaro. I offer to look for Botaro in the old city. Let's go. A rickety metal cage swings over an abyss. Your clothes billow with a foul wind from below and faint screams and roars echo from the depths. Still, you can make out no details from this distance. <clears throat> go down. You step into the jouncing cage. The door slams shut and your descent begins with the rattle of chains. As your eyes adjust to the gloom, you begin to make out crumbling ruins and shadows flickering between them. The cage comes to rest with a groan. I also want to do the quest for Archimedes Manor. <clears throat> I've been thinking about that one. His voice was very low right now. Okay, let's actually stealth up. Very creepy sounds already. I can hear bats. Corpses. The bones are warm to the touch. Wonderful. Let me just increase my volume here because I'm liking the music. What is it? Oh, these are the sigils. Okay, yeah, because there, there are those things that... I think I have one. Um, <clears throat> where would they be, though? This here. Sigils of Darkness. Immune to Sigil of Darkness attack. How, the, how is this even used, by the way? Not a trinket. Is it just a... But is it a consumable? Cast time. Recovery time. Hmm. I don't know. Okay, let's see what happens here and then we'll... We'll check this out. What is this? An essence battery. <clears throat> I am unsure what that is for. Does it hurt me? Mr. Piggy? Investigate. Does not hurt me. Oh, the Essence Blast hits me for 30 raw damage on Mr. Piggy. I think it blows up. Oh, it's like a... <clears throat> it's like a gunpowder barrel. It hits for raw, which is quite good. A padded cap. So these sigils are apparently evil. Immune. Because they are immune to piercing. Um, what about to a scepter shot? Not immune. Okay. So we can just blow this up, I guess. Of course. Damaged. Okay. You know what? Let me do this. Uh, 
Take that. Do I have a better one? I don't think I do, right? I don't think so. So... Swap weapons. Okay. Done. What is it? I'll take it. Very ominous sounds. A specter. A uh, specter. Oh. A specter, a phantom, and a shadow. <clears throat> Mr. Piggy, come here. Yeah, sometimes this happens. Mr. Piggy gets stuck and he doesn't move. But if I take him out of stealth, he moves once again. Okay, very weird. Okay, so I have these essence batteries here, which means I can probably blow up and, and kill some of these guys with that. Okay, let's, let's quick save. And I think we're gonna have a fight. So how far do I need to go to shoot that? So like this would be enough. I might want some more damage on it. So something like this should work. Okay. So I want to bring these guys in and once they start coming this way, I'm going to blow this up. So hey there, let's pull. So uh, don't, don't do anything right now. Oh my god, there's a lot of people. There's a wraith as well. Okay, let's see them start coming in. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good. Shoot. Blam. And you are gonna start buffing us up with a blessing. Mr. Piggy, come over here. And you are going to get a tactical barrage going and then start hitting. Oh, this actually didn't do as much damage as I thought. It did some damage, though. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna go for an accurate wounding shot on this Wraith. She's casting something. There's also a Shade. With three skulls. Wonderful. Uh, Aloth, you are going to... Delity is Lacrity of Motion, and then let's get some summons going to help us out. And Takehu, <clears throat> what are you gonna do? I think you can go for a Chill Fog here. Okay, let's see. Mr. Piggy, go fight. Huh? Oh, they, they steal? Oh, God. Oh, God. There's one more coming in. They stole it there. And it there is also stunned for how long? Four seconds. Okay, let's, let's come back over here once we can. Mr. Piggy, you're going to have to be awesome, my dude. <laughs> back up over here. Uh... You, go over there to tank. Let me see, what can I do? Who's low? This guy's low, this shadow. I'm gonna go for a crippling psych on the shadow. You are gonna go over there. We can speed this up slightly. They are not vessels. I don't think they're... I think they're spirits. Takehu, uh, let's aim this chill fog a little bit more over here. Okay, so Shoti is back in action. I'm gonna try for the Devotions of the Faithful hitting every single person. Uh, are you back? No, you're still stunned. Okay. We have the Chill Fog. <clears throat> so now they're getting hurt, we have the Tentacles as well. I'm gonna put up a Moonlight to heal us up. And then I'm gonna go for a Blizzard. Although they have a lot of armor against Frost, which is unfortunate. So, if I don't do that, what if I do this? Friendly AoE? No, not that. Maybe just... Nature's Mark. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so Nature's Mark. After my Moon's Veil. 
And Aloth, you have your tentacles over there. So I'm thinking you have the Altice Alacrity of Motion, so back up over here. I said back up, thank you. We are going to get... We are going to get... Um, I could go for a Miasma, no. I think I'm going to go for Minor Blights, followed by Exposed Vulnerabilities, <clears throat> and then just shoot. And my Rogue, I want him to be working on... This guy is doing something evil. There's still that stupid Wraith over there. Let me see if I can shoot it. And shoot it again. You hit that. You hit that. Oh, I cannot control my summons. Okay, never mind. So, Accurate Wounding Shot, followed by... A crippling strike. You are still stunned there. What the hell? Come over here when you can. <laughs> no. No Why am I going away? Did the, the thing just disappear? It's over there for some reason, but I'm not really getting it. Uh, let's get back over here, there, please. And you are gonna do something different then, since the other guy is gone. I'm gonna work on this phantom, and then this shadow. I'm gonna try and kill the weak ones first. Eder found something secret, apparently. Doesn't matter now, Eder, just focus up, man. Ooh, one shot. And very good damage as well. Okay, we have the Moonlight thingy. Awesome. We have Devotions for the Faithful. Awesome. Let's get an extra heal from Shoti. And I should actually turn on my AI again, I forgot. We're gonna go for an accurate wounding shot on this shadow and then on... Maybe the Shade or this... Phantom as well. Okay. Uh, I don't like the way you're getting so weak. Hmm. Maybe I should switch him up to a, to a shark to fight. I think that might be better. You are still casting your thing. Okay, they are debuffed. You have minor blights for 30 seconds, which should hit everybody here with high accuracy. Wonderful, so let's do that. Mr. Piggy is taking a lot of damage. No good. I wish Mr. Piggy had second wind. Ooh, but I have a Sigil of Nightmares here. Okay, change of plans. I'm gonna leave it there back here. In case he's not needed in the front. Hopefully. And I'm gonna just start working on this Wraith here. See if I can handle her. Mr. Piggy, don't die. Focus on, on this one. Okay, you are shooting this guy, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's fine. Uh, okay. Oh, yeah. So nice damage from, from a lot there. I love that AoE. My rogue just killed the other guy. Mr. Piggy, go for that one. Shoti is doing fine. Yeah, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. Let's get some extra defenses here. Wait. They're almost all dead, actually. Huh. Nice. So, do this. Mr. Piggy. Mr. Piggy... I'm actually gonna heal then, because Mr. Piggy has taken some damage. Okay, awesome. Just fight. Okay. Good shot. Let's go for a crippling strike on the Spectre. You are gonna focus on the Spectre as well. Let's flank. Watch me, mother. Perfect. Did he say, watch me, mother? I think he did. <laughs> That's kind of a weird battle shout. Uh, you are taking some damage. I mean, you should be able to handle this there. Just be strong, man. Yeah. 
Okay, ooh, the Spectre just blew the hell up. Okay, shoot, hit, let's flank actually. You go over here. Yeah, man, this red hand. Whoa. The red hand shooting twice. Very good. We also have the sure handed Ila knocked at Heralds with speed. Plus the, the vest here. Very lovely. Okay. You can simply keep shooting while you have your minor blights. Let me see here. What do you have? Clouding strikes. Minus 5 perception, recovery time, minus deflection, minus armor rating for 6 seconds. Yeah, let's try and heal you up. And also swap stance. Okay. Okay, you're gonna have to back up from there. Oh, dead. Yeah, buddy. Okay, <clears throat> so we're fine on this. But now I'm gonna have to have you three work on that sigil so we can pass. Mr. Piggy, go over here. Hey there, don't die. Ooh, it, this one has a lot of HP. It is immune to piercing and immune to slashing. Well, that sucks. Is there he's healed up once again? I think there has got this. Just crippling strike and kill it. This will take a while. Let's speed this up. Let's let's watch it there. I never watch it there fighting. Mm, you are sucking it there. <laughs> Uh, can I knock her down? I don't think I can, but let's see. Ooh! We did knock her down! Okay, for 8 seconds. This is still ongoing. Go, A, eh, there! Go, A, eh, there! Yeah! Okay, we blew it up. A, eh, there! Backup is coming, my friend. Fear not, we are with you. Ow. Kopsh. Yes. Well, this fight is a bit unpleasant. But I don't understand. It looks like one of the raids just went away. It was very strange. Either that or I killed her without knowing. Very, very weird. Uh, let's pick the lock. It's finished. Okay. Okay. I like secret items. Hide armor. <gasps> oh, is it? Is it? But no, I don't think it's Botaru. Wait, I'm not looking for trouble. Not more. I mean, and I've not got a weapon on you. See? Hmm. He raises his hands to show his sword is sheathed. It's just. You're the first body I've bumped into in days. That's actually breathing. I mean, <laughs> could it be you're delving for forgotten treasures? Same as me? His boots are slicked with grime. His clothes are filthy and rumpled from several days wear. And his neck and hands are smeared in places with mud. A pack rests at his heels, empty enough to have flopped into itself. It likely carries no more than his dwindling supplies. You're a treasure hunter? Right. And a successful one, usually. He half smiles, a hesitant, abashed spread of his lips. I'm loath to admit it, but look, I'm too desperate not to. I've found not a single trinket and no end to this pit since I first crawled down. I thought to follow the rivers out, but the caves are crawling with grubs. Hmm. How did you even get down here? Didn't you think it might be dangerous? He cants his head to one side, a knowing glint igniting his dark eyes. I might ask the same to you, friend. Not everyone longs to die in their own bed. I just... Well, I thought I'd have more time. Hmm. You haven't found a way out of here, have you? Uh, I mean, we came to the lift. What was your escape plan when you first ventured into the pit? I scaled down from the cliffs, but midway, the rocks turned slick. He scratches at a patch of dried muck on the side of his neck. So there's no climbing back up. What else then? 
best bats the rivers at the base of the pit. They flow beneath the outcrops, so they must dump into the sea. Okay. The trouble's been reaching the base. The western caves wind downward, but they're riddled, infested. Walking them's not been safe. Hmm. How long have you wandered down here? I packed provisions enough for two weeks. Started rationing when things looked grim after the first odd days. I... I don't know beyond that. Hmm. He eyes the ripped toe of his boot as he scuffs it against the stone beneath his feet. Andra's lure seems hardly worth it now. Suppose I fell for the bait though, didn't I? Fable. Temple full of treasures, my ass. <laughs> Well, if I clear the path, I'll let you know. Right. I'll wait here, and you'll return for me, won't you? Yeah, yeah. He nods in answer to his own question, but a deep worry furrows across his brow. <clears throat> okay, so we have a guy here. One thing that makes me sad is I cannot ask him about Botaro. Which, you know, is the main reason why I came down here in the first place. So these are just gunpowder uh, barrels, essentially. Oh, there she is! So what the... <coughs> what <laughs> What happened here? I don't understand. She just bugged out or something? Okay, so we're there. Go fight. And I'm gonna shoot her from stealth with my rogue. With an accurate wounding shot followed by a crippling strike. This is actually quite cool because since the red hand shoots twice, I get to, you know, queue up two different shots. I liked it a lot. <clears throat> Aloth, I want you to cast a Necrotic Lance. Takehu, you just shoot. You go fight. Mr. Piggy goes fighting. And you go fighting. Blam! Let's... Mule Kicker. This also goes there. Shoti. I think Shoti's fine as she is, but let's just cast a Blessing. Yeah, some very nice shots from my friend here. Let's try and harvest. See if I can do it. Nope, missed. God damn it. Yeah, I don't think I need to buff. Ow! Okay, good. Simple enough. What can I, do? Uh -huh. I am gonna swap something here, however. Which is my chance... I actually want this the other way around because right now I shot twice from stealth and I didn't have the reload buff and I want that. So, <clears throat> that Wraith just acted weird and went away, sure. Let's stealth up again. Oh no. Wait. A trap triggered, but nothing actually happened. Not that I can see, at least. The bones are warm to touch. So the guy said something about the western tunnels being... ...infested with things. And you know what I'm thinking? I'm thinking I've played enough StarCraft to be afraid of this. Back up. Back up. Me, me smelly, me smelly ambush. Of course. Yeah, this is. I don't like. It's moving even. Grub burrows, and I'm being detected by. Aha! Yeah, StarCraft saves the day! <laughs> I don't even remember the name of the... of the... the Zerg that did something like this, but... Well, I understood the idea now. Let's go for this. And we're gonna tank over here with Mr. Eder. Just maybe a little bit more over here. Oh, is she trying to knock me down? I think he is. You bitch. Okay, well, let's shoot and crippling strike. You are gonna buff yourself up to start out. Um, Tekehu, what are you doing? 
I think you can put a chill fog here because more people are coming in. And this should hit everything. They have a lot of armor against this. They have 10 armor. Jesus Christ. Uh, we have the blessing from Shoti. I believe I'm just going to move forward and just cast a Consecrated Ground. Just so we have some extra heals. Uh, Mr. Piggy, go fight. So come here. Nice shot. Not too much damage though. Oh no. Okay, another one coming in. Aloth has buffed up. So I'm thinking tentacles over here. Because this guy's also coming in. Okay. And this guy is going for that one? Very strange. Yeah, there got knocked down, which is never desirable. Okay, Shoti, just stay here. We have Chill Fog going. I'm going to buff us up with the Holy Meditation to get more defenses here. My Rogue is still going to keep shooting this guy, see if we can knock him down quick. Tekehu. <clears throat> oh, right. If I cast a Chill Fog, I cannot cast a Returning Storm. Yeah, I really need to have Chill Fog on, on Aloth. This was a waste. Okay. Oh, well. Um, I'm going to go for the Blizzard to try and lower their attack speed. Mm hmm. And you should have this. What is he doing? He's doing something. And then maybe a crippling strike on the guy. We have tentacles. <clears throat> We've nearly killed that guy with my rogue. So I'm going to focus him on someone else. And maybe just, just spread some dots around. So dot this guy and then dot this guy. And when I say dot, for those of you who might not be familiar, I just mean damage over time effect. Um, so, Aloth, we have the tentacles. I think I'm gonna go for... The, how long do I have for this? One minute. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna go for a Miasma of Dull Mindedness. Then I'm gonna go for Exposed Vulnerabilities. Then I'm gonna buff with Minor Blights and just start shooting. That's my plan. And as soon as I uh, show T finishes casting, I'm gonna go for the Devotions for the Faithful. And I'm going to try to hit everyone that I can to buff and debuff at the same time, which is lovely. Okay, there goes the Blizzard. And after that, these guys are immune to Lightning, which is very annoying. So I guess I can just debuff them with Nature's Mark. And then cast an Ondra's Whip, like over here as well. One more summon, sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like it when my characters start getting tossed around. It is very, very annoying. <clears throat> Piggy, hold the line here. You hold the line there. Or here. Something. And she... You see, and it even cancelled my, my thing. Oh, you bitch. Piggy, kill this one. Thing isn't doing the job. Oh my god, where are you going? For my rogue, you bitch. Okay, so I need... Uh, Piggy, tank that. I'm gonna reposition my lower defenses over here. And I'm gonna go for a accurate wounding shot, followed by a crippling strike on this guy. This I can and you are actually going to place the Ondra's Whip here to help out. Okay. Feel pain. Very nice shots. I'm going to wait with Shoti before I actually heal. And I'm going to have her go over there. Okay, seems okay. This does not work. Okay. Getting some good damage from Aloth. Nice. Good job. 
Okay, crippling strike on this guy who's coming for a lot. Uh, it there? What is it there? Gra is he is he downed? Does not seem to be down, so grab this guy. Okay, so you can have your AI on auto attack again. Piggy, same thing. And what I want from you, I think, is gonna be the moon's light. Yeah. Good. So much for you. We have this <clears throat> in the bag. We can say. So, tactical barrage followed by a mule's kick. You are aiming over there. Over here should be better, maybe. Yeah, to kill everything. Okay, let's speed this up. We can just watch the fight unfold now. That's it. Okay, Aloth just melting people. I love it. Uh, we're gonna swap for over here. We have more healing coming in, which is good. And I think that's it. Just shoot. Okay. Ooh, overkill. Love it. Yeah, man, this this Arcubus. Sweet. Sweet. Okay. So let's go over there. Mm-hmm. Can't make a dent. Yeah, man, just look. Bam, bam. Blow up. <clears throat> Wonderful. Wonderful weapon. Larvae and Onyx. Okay, so we gotta be careful about those little mine enemies. And these grub burrows, I'm going to assume they poop out grubs. Not exactly sure though. Oh, maybe this is what the guy was talking about. And now we can leave? Okay, let's explore a little bit more. I don't want the guy to die as he is escaping. Behold me, mother. Yeah, behold me, mother. <laughs> the weirdest battle cry of all time. Okay, nothing over here. Amphora. Don't know what that does. Bones are warm to touch. I'm maybe this also blows up as an explosion. Man, where the hell is Botaru? If he's even here, there's a lot of corpses and limbs. Oh god, give me an end. We're sickened. Why are we sickened? Slog zone, noxious cloud. Oh, th this has a cloud effect. Okay, it does take us out of stealth though, which is annoying. I got scared with the shadow. Ooh, fresh boot prints stir the mud. Could Botaro be here? <sighs> Oof. Three skulls? Skulldrak enemies, they stun. Skulldrak creatures, Skulldrak. Yeah, everything has a lot of skulls. Let me actually just back up for a moment. But these fresh boot prints, man. Hmm. Skulldrak nest. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna try and get back to that guy. And see if... Um See if with what we cleared is considered um, a safe route for him. So he's over here. Okay. You haven't found a way out of here. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I've wiped most of the grubs from the western caverns. Yes. Right. It's safe to make for the rivers then, or it's safe as it's likely to get. I'll head downward now. Okay. With the winds, he has to spec from the ground. Mayhaps we'll meet again in the darkness? 
he tosses you a concerned glance over his shoulder. Take heed if you've plans to trudge deeper north. I only glimpsed it once, but whatever nightmare lurks near the falls of the pit, it's incredibly massive. And surely just as mean. You're talking about the Skaldrax? Then he's gone, easing carefully, uh, cautiously into the darkness. Hmm. Part of me wants to take on those Skaldrak, but <clears throat> the other part of me is saying everything is three levels higher, so I'm not sure if I should. Okay, he, he said going... yes, this is the northern area. We haven't been here before, or have we? There's a vase. Noxious cloud. No, I haven't been here before. Oh. Skaldrak, I think. Ghouls and dark ghouls. Now, from what I remember, these enemies should not be particularly difficult. At least from PoE 1 experience. Uh, oh god, if... okay. Because if we step on a noxious cloud, we get sickened and we... Um, stealth gets removed. So ideally, I would like to bring them in over here. This is not much of a choke point, though. This this isn't actually a choke point. This is just a a, a block. No, it's, it's it's a rock, but they can go around. What do you need? Hmm. Okay, so what would be my best approach to this? Maybe just fight over here. But then I'm very exposed. But if I try to bring them back here, I know the game is gonna bug out, and half of them will go back, and I don't like that. Let's quick save this and let's. Let's go on an um, offensive approach here. If we stand here, this doesn't hit us. At the same time, I could just be here, right? Yeah. Okay. So there's three ghouls over somebody with this... Oh, is that Botaru? Because that's his soul right there. Or a soul right there. We're gonna wait for this guy to come over here. We're gonna send it there in. Yeah. Okay. So, let's leave stealth and engage. And as soon as combat starts, I'm gonna start shooting people. Okay. Tactical barrage. Let's mule kick this guy. And the dark ghouls were supposedly extremely resilient and the ghouls should be weaker okay in this game it's not actually that much of a difference unless they have a lot more hit points so accurate wounding followed by a crippling strike and Aloth does the usual thing I don't think I'll need a lot of effects here just probably minor blights and hit Mr. Piggy go fight Shoti, give us a blessing. You... I want a returning storm from you. So go over here. Oh no. Oh no. This is a lot worse than I expected. <clears throat> so, um... Piggy, you have to come over here. Oh god. Oh lordy. Um... So this should hit everything. Let me go over here. This also hits this guy to the right. Piggy will need to tank that one. <clears throat> so stay here. Don't go into the second cloud. Shoti can give us... Um, I never remember, man. Devotions for the Faithful. Okay. And I'm actually going to need something from Aloth this time. So, Aloth, you are going to go for tentacles over here to keep this guy busy. And then we shall see. And I'm also going to start working on this one with my rogue. 
with a wounding sh no, with a crippling strike followed by a wounding shot. Okay. So let let him come to Mr. Piggy. Blam, good damage. Okay. So I think we're fine and we can take it. Where is my returning storm? Did they interrupt the, ret the returning storm? I'm gonna be upset. No, it actually hit. Okay. I didn't see it hit. I might just be blind. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I think I'm gonna go for a lightning bolt. So something like this. It will bounce and maybe even hit people over there. <clears throat> Show T. Uh, I think I don't need a lot right now. I can go for a pillar of faith here. Yeah, it does hit fairly accurately. Yeah, do that. And you go for a crippling strike on the dark blue. Sure. So I have my thingies. So I will go for the same thing I did before. A Miasma of Dull Mindedness followed by Exposed Vulnerabilities followed by a buff followed by Shooting. Okay. Lightning Bolt. There you go. Okay. Dealt some damage, not too much. This guy is trying to ignore Mr. Piggy, which I don't appreciate. It will be so. And I'm gonna leave a Moonlight over here to heal it there because he started to take some damage. Pillar of Faith, I think, hit nobody. No, it actually hit for 60 crushing. Nice. Three grazes. Okay. Um, same deal as. Oh, he blew up. Or did or did Piggy kill him? Rotgast grazes Mr. Piggy for. Oh, okay. Let's go for some more passive healing here. Mr. Piggy, you can... Oh my lord, there's too many over there. You can go and help out there. Nice. Nice. Debuffs all around. Good, good. Uh, I would like you to start working on the, the Pestilent Rotgasts. I'm kind of afraid of them. So, accurate wounding shot on that one and accurate wounding shot on that one, maybe. There, you are fine. Stop complaining. Okay. Hold meditation? Sure. And Takehu... Me thinks you're gonna go for a blizzard. Yes. Okay, you are buffed up. Let's start AOing them down. This guy, though... Okay, I'm gonna have to kill this one first. So, accurate wounding, no, actually, crippling, followed by accurate wounding. And I might also send Mr. Piggy to hold them off, and I will. Okay, people are starting to ignore it there, which is unfortunate. Let's bring this in over here. Okay, they swapped back to it there. My rogue dealt a lot of damage, good. So, Accurate Wounding on the Pestilent. And then Accurate Wounding on this Rotgast. But everything is starting to get low on HP here. A lot is going to start hitting in a very big AoE, which is awesome. Yeah, look at that. Awesome, awesome. Okay, you can just hold them all. Actually, they're vessels, aren't they? The How can I know the type of the enemy? I know they are vessels, but I, I cannot see. Is there like an inspect button or something? Rotgast. Hold shift. Armor, penetration, accuracy, deflection, damage. How can I know the enemy type? Do I need to go... Here? Yeah, so ghouls and revenants and rotgasts. These are all vessels. It doesn't say here, though. Or am I blind? I don't know. Okay, let's go for this, then. 
It's gonna hurt everybody. Okay, you are... Gonna... Oh, you have already your action queued up, okay. So what do you do? Nature's Mark, sure. Okay. Let's turn into a shark because people are starting to get on top of us. Okay, Mr. Piggy is doing an awesome job. Perfect. Blam. Blam. <laughs> okay. So everybody go for him. Okay, yeah, we're doing we're doing very decent damage here. Now let's try and knock him up. Oh god, I didn't see this one. Come here, piggy. Okay, that works, that works. He's dead. Next one. Oh, sorry. Toss him up. It, why does it seem like they're dead, but then they aren't? It's very strange. Now he is. Okay. We knocked him up. Awesome. Man, my rogue is dealing a lot of damage. I like that. But yeah, all of these enemies, I think, were at my level. None of them were um, higher up. Okay. Yeah, this is... I'm pretty sure this is, this is Botaro. No can do. What do you mean, no can do? Why can't you pick this up? Oh, I think she was in combat or something. Okay. Quick save. Yeah. This body has been savaged by many claws and fangs. A cloud of essence hangs over it. You recognize it as belonging to Botaro, the man you saw lowered from the gullet earlier. His soul remnant pulses with urgency. Read his soul. You prepare yourself for the now familiar jolt and feel yourself pulled into one of his memories. You are being dragged toward the cage, but you're not looking at it or at the darkness below. Soon there will be nothing else for you. Overseer Itenga is holding the marked coin, the swollen it, not glaring at you, oh sorry, and glaring at you. You already tried explaining yourself, but it's no use. He knows where you got it. He tucks it into his pocket. Hmm. Instead, you look for Atbiha, furious and heartbroken where she stands beyond the guards. There's something you need to tell her, but she's so far, receding farther by the second. Recall what you need to tell her. You are standing in front of a man. His dark, wizened face reminds you of old leather, but the delicate work of embroidery rests in his lap. He holds out a purse with long, fine fingers. A delicate work of embroidery rests on the lap? I think he's talking about Dario. It's heavy. It's probably more money than you've earned in your entire life. You try not to let this show on your face. You know what to do. The crime lord nods at you. Please remind me. You will meet our mutual associate near the other mill. She will give you a package. Pay her and bring this package to the Undercroft. He watches you for understanding before he continues. My people are particular about security. But show them the swollen net and they will let you pass. You pat your pocket for the marked coin. Yes, it's still there. You leave the lair of Dario the Lean and zip through the narrows, past the Sveft chewing guards, left at the four-way intersection and left again to the gullet. Okay, so if I, if I actually went here first to the old city, this would also be a way to guide me into, into Dario's lair. Your hands are shaking and you're remembering the rumor B had told you about, of a merchant captain at the tavern. The money is heavy in your hands. It's a risk, but you realize you've already decided to take it. You approach the tavern with your heart in your mouth, realizing that you can't just walk in there holding Dario's purse. You need to hide it. I think this is the 600 copper pieces we picked up 
outside of the tavern. And I'm guessing this guy made a deal with Dario, but his plan was to betray Dario to purchase a safe passage for him, his wife and the kids out of here. Fortunately, the rubble around you offers plenty of hiding places. When no one is looking, you clear some stones out of one corner and hide the purse beneath them. There. You'll come back for it once you've made your deal with the Rawatayan. You're almost starting to feel better about it too. As Botaro walks into the tavern, the memory fades, and you find yourself once more looking at its corpse. Come along now. I'll guide you through the wheel. Nice. Shoti's lantern clings softly as she drags it through the clustered essence, harvesting the lost soul. Okay. Well, now we can go back to Bia and complete uh, both quests, right? So we can complete the part about finding the, the finding out what happened to um, Botaru, and also um, the part about buying passage for her and the kids. Okay, so given that we have a lot of very high-level enemies over there, I think I'm going to go back up. And I'm going to complete this quest. And I also want to go into Archimedes Manor. Now that we have some more quests, some more items and stuff. I want to explore that area as well. And then we'll come back over here. And by the way, can I talk to you about Botaro now? The gullet is no place to wander. Watch yourself for rowdies and pirates. Hmm. I don't think I want to tell him that I'm in league with Dario. Yeah, so farewell. Or or wait, maybe he has a quest for me. The gullet is no place to wander. Yeah, yeah. Watch yourself so Dario gave me permission to use the lift of the Undercroft. For several seconds he only blinks at you. That is interesting. Because this lift goes to the old city. I hear there is a lift to the Undercroft from Delver's Row. His eyes narrow. And Delver's Row is a haven for criminals, of which Dario is the worst. I am sworn to punish such criminals and their associates. Dude, I'm trying to help you. He is quiet, studying your face with a suspicious glare. Ah, now I see. This is one of your famous jests. Do I have a reputation for jesting? After another pause, the corners of his mouth, mouth twitch. Most amusing. Okay. I was wondering if he had some, some kind of quest, like if he gave you access to the Undercroft, then go there infiltrated and, I don't know, sabotage something or find out information, you know, stuff like that. Okay. We're gonna go to Bia's home. And let's see what we get from here. Good save. My village was not like this. Why does Queen Onikaza not send the foreigners away? Okay, so... <clears throat> first of all... Did you know Botaro was working for criminals? Of course not. He worked on the docks, I I'm sure of it. Her face flushes with shock. I'm a watcher. I read the memory in his soul. She blinks at you in disbelief, her mouth half open. For what do you torment me? He was a good man. As you say. The Overseer looks for a reason to toss us below too. Such talk will bring him to our doorstep. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, well, I found Botaro in the old city. He's dead. Of course. I only hoped. She breaks off, shaking her head. It is no matter. Thank you for telling me. Mm. Well... I'm gonna give her the 600 copper. I found the money Botaro hid. Take it. That much copper would only bring suspicion. Besides, maybe Suduza will accept it in exchange for passage. She doesn't want it. Okay. I spoke with Captain Suduzo about passage out of Neketaka. What say, then? Bia listens with cautious hope. The children look on with wide, round eyes. She's agreed to take you all. She is momentarily speechless. Her eyes fill with tears. She drops the reeds as she brushes them away. Oh, no hug for Takehu, then? Dude, stop ruining the moment, man. May Amira's winds ever blow sweet for you. We will pray always for you in this life and in each to come. She picks up the two infants and hurries the others out the door. 
<coughs> okay, so that's... That's all. Well, we did a good deed, my friends. We got not that much experience. How close are we from... Yeah, very far from leveling up. Okay. So, in the gullet, I think we've... We've done all the quests we had here, except, you know, going back down. This is the sacred stair, these are bounties. Return to Izali. Oh, this is from the, the family, yeah. Lost Dews, find the ancient temple. Poco Kohara. Yeah, meet Gwenfer in the Undercroft. Mapping the archipelago, the lantern, uh, okay. Temple of Gone. Food for Thought to establish a source of food. Okay. There are way too many quests, man. Way too many. <laughs> I like it, but I would hope to get a little bit more linear progression. Trade secrets. Reach the Undercroft. Okay, so there are several things wanting me to go to the Undercroft. But... I think I want to take care of, of Archimedes' mansion first. Yeah. Okay, so let's go there. We're gonna go to Periki's Overlook. And I know I'm ignoring this area first because I want to check out this quest here. And then we'll see. Because the first time we got there, I felt like it was maybe a little bit too early to go and explore the <laughs> the manner of a powerful wizard. But at this point, I think I feel a little bit more uh, confident. So, we go to the dark cupboard. From the dark cupboard, we go upstairs. We cross the rope. And then we have a way to fool the imps. To have them think that I'm their master. Because we picked up a robe that belonged to him. So the idea here is we're gonna quick save. I can be quiet. We're gonna stealth. I am going to equip Archimedes old robe. There we go. And this way he will think oh, yes. that the imps will think that I am their master. Let's climb across. Okay, and from here, we have this guy we have to be careful about. We have a barrel. Wonderful news, friend Shodi. A sacred cup is entangled in your hair. Well, don't just watch it lay eggs. Pull it out for me. <laughs> it is a good omen. Let it crawl, I say. Fair enough. But if it gets smushed, it ain't my fault. Okay. So, previously we had gone up here, gone around, and then into Archimedes Manor bedroom, which is where we got the, um, the robe. Now we're gonna explore this upper floor. The other way in would be from the Luminous Bathhouse, there was also a secret passage there. But I think I wanna explore this one first. And I think there was also a password that we got at some point for the imps. Which was something about um, wine and cheese or something like that. Okay, I gotta check this again because, you know, too many quests. Uh, terms of Trade? No. Dim Prospects? No. It's two levels high. Hmm... Okay, this looks to be more of a stealth operation, so maybe we can get by it. If I find that this is becoming a little bit too hard, I might just back out. Okay. Oh, but... Right, I forgot what I was gonna see. Um, do I have information about the password here? Yeah, there we go. A passphrase. Cider and cheese, that's it. The ceramic bowls and plates inside the cabinet are all covered with a thin la layer of dust. 
Yellow Eye 3. Okay. Well, you know what? I think we're gonna end the episode here, uh, because it's right about time. And then in the next one we can, you know, dedicate the episode to... I don't know, exploring Archimedes Manor in a, in a fresh episode. And see where we can go from there. So, as usual, my friends, I want to thank you all for being here in the channel with me, watching some Pillars of Eternity 2 Deadfire. If you guys have any questions, suggestions, anything at all, leave a comment below. If you are enjoying the content, consider subscribing for more. There's videos coming out every single day. And I hope to see you all in the next episode. Until then, stay safe, everyone. Chunky.